key part here to note is that any services that you are not completing by the due date you'll have to apply again because after that transition happens incomplete applications will be rejected there are other changes in step 3 for example they are moving from fsmb to nbme and uh, if you are taking step 3 we'll talk about that later as well of course the intent of all these changes is to ensure that it becomes smoother the usml journey for you becomes smoother but there may be initial hiccups if you have more questions about the changes or any other aspects of the usml we are holding a free webinar on december 28th at 11 am eastern 9:30 pm ist hopefully you can join us and we'll answer all your queries in the upcoming uh, usmle match season or anything else you want to know about usmle